Hi, I'm Mika. Today we will be reading the scripture again. We will be studying it and understanding. Uh, it's a great way to feed our soul and uh, encourage our soul with the Word of God that brings life to our soul. And today's scripture is Matthew. Uh, Gospel of Ma from Matthew. Matthew 7. Let's just... Uh, I would like to uh, call or name this topic uh, Ask, Seek, Knock. Ask, Seek, Knock. And we will be, if we have time, we will go to the narrow way. So, um, I will just read from 7. Matthew 7, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. 7, 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and you will be open, and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, he will give him stone? Or if he asks for fish, he will give him a serpent. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father, how much more will your father who is in heaven uh, give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want, man to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. I would like to just uh, um, just stop and uh, just meditate and read over and I will give you my insights, uh, what's the Holy, what the Holy Spirit was speaking to me through this. I actually would like to just we read Matthew 7 from verse 7 and then I would like that this whole thing and then and then it goes to the different topic it's going to be a different topic but the, the narrow way so but this whole paragraph uh, Jesus is talking about uh, about something very important to us to learn to grasp and to live uh, by it and um, there is a great wisdom and great power. There's, every time there is a great wisdom of uh, Jesus Christ, there is a great power of walking in this wisdom. And the wisdom and that power will produce uh, those, this life uh, that was spoken through the Word and to your life. So uh, I would like to focus so that we read from 7, uh, uh, verse 7 until the 12th. And I would like to read 12 and go back. So everything we read from 7, and we will stop and read again to 12. It says, therefore, what is there for me? Therefore, it's kind of a uh, conclusion. It's uh, the bottom line. It, line. It's uh, something that, uh, bottom line of this is this, yeah? So he's telling us, knock the door, um, it will be open. Uh, he says, seek, and you will find, and... Um, ask it will be giving so those kind of things Lord encourages us to do <clears throat> and he's even comparing that if the evil if you're being evil you still do good things to your children how much more God will give you things that you ask from him and then the, as a conclusion of this ask knock and and seek as a conclusion is therefore God says therefore it's always God uh, Jesus was uh, speaking about something. It's always about this is what I mean. This is this is the meaning of the whole thing. This is therefore it does mean this is the whole thing I was talking about. The whole thing about this and it's all about this. Yeah. So I'm sorry if you if I, could, I hope it didn't confuse you. So therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is law and the prophet. You know that we have this uh, uh, saying in the world, the golden, the golden rules. Yeah, do unto others what you want to do. not do unto others what you wanted to do to yourself. Yeah, well, I've heard that. 
that version. And he is, here God says that in this is everything. So do you remember we were doing this, if you watch one of the, my windows, <laughs> videos, if you watch one of the videos, uh, I was talking, we were talking about Ten Commandments. Do we Christians follow Ten Commandments? And we were talking about the Ten Commandments we don't follow, but we don't just go and, and you know, um, uh, line everything, all our schedule, everything, all life uh, uh, about following the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments is written in our heart. We live in Ten Commandments through Jesus Christ, are uh, produced through our faith. The faith produces the Ten Commandments. So we, we don't have to work, we don't work to produce Ten Commandments, the faith produces Ten Commandments. We, we had this video. And now, uh, this is another uh, kind of link to that video. It says, um, therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. And Jesus said, I came not to cancel the law and prophets, I came to fulfill. I came to fulfill the prophets and the law. Fulfill, fulfill this is those Ten Commandments, everything that's written, everything that's abomination to the law, to, to Father, and uh, not doing abomination to the Father, but doing what His what is Father called us to do. The true sacrifice is you give mercy and uh, love and kindness. So this is, this is again says, so you you knock you ask you ask father you knock and uh and actually it's i think it doesn't say that it doesn't say uh like uh you know there's a situation that that i to me like when i when i read that i was pretty uh, before christ i would uh, consider myself and i would describe myself very introverted person uh, a person who uh, is, uh, you know, uh, on my own thoughts, with thinking for myself and kind of making decisions and kind of to myself, like not too social person, even though I was in the, in the uh, music world, in, in the, on the stage person, on the stage, on the uh, media person, uh, stage person in the, in, the, in the opera field. So I still was very introverted person. I was not uh, outgoing and... Um, extrovert uh, people, a person. But but when when I came to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ just changed me. Just absolutely, I'm just the I'm just absolutely uh, opposite side. I'm a I'm a pretty. Uh, I like to be open to people. I like people. I like to be around people. I love helping people. So it's completely. It's all the attributes that Jesus has. That is is implement he's he's implement we are I'm becoming a reflection because Jesus was with the crowd of people. Jesus was uh, Jesus came to people. He loved people so much he loves the world. So that's that's we are becoming <clears throat> uh when we're in Christ. So and uh, I I would never ask but like before Christ I would never ask anybody. I was like it was just something like I would never ask. I would rather go do myself and, and and find myself and do myself and find myself and not never knock never ask never so would be like no it's 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 that's that's indication of the pride yeah pride when people have pride they are afraid to ask it's not because they just don't want to make an inconvenience or something just asking I always ask I even ask at the store I say oh is there any coupon I can use I always ask and you know what there's always some coupon I can use <laughs> some discounts I ask if some if I buy some something and I always ask if what's the best price it's okay and, and you know people love that people people love when somebody asks asking and then if I don't know I would say I don't know but I would like to help you so being of transparent in that way so and it says here you ask because when you ask uh, you have to kind of bend your you know that pride yeah I'm asking I cannot ask but that's why so you ask that mean you're there's a humbleness in the asking there's a humbleness in seeking I'm seeking I'm just looking I'm not just like oh I'm not going to go I'm just it's not there I'm, I'm just not going to move no, you, you go and find something. You go look for it. You look for it. Especially if you're a single man and in your, uh, in your age when you're looking for, you, you would like to get, be married and have family, go seek for your wife. 
look for her, look for her. And then we know we read that a man who finds a uh, virtuous wife obtains favor. So go find <laughs> your wife and obtain favor. Uh, just I'm getting off the subject. Sitting and knocking, knocking like there's some time, there's door is closed, okay? There's nothing there or just there's nothing. There's sometimes you feel like there's the opportunity, you missed the opportunity or there's no opportunity for you. There's like, okay, uh, we don't have a uh, place to, we didn't have, a, we'll say, um, um, a, a vacancy or, or you know, for, for, for that for that uh, job if you're looking for we we're not hiring for that but you still it's closed yeah the door is closed we're not hiring yeah but you still go knock you know interestingly that's how we i live in alaska uh and with my husband and my husband and i we decided to buy a house for ourselves and i would like to see the house with the sunset and, and interesting we found this house and actually how we found we liked the neighborhood and it was on the bluff, and you can see the sunset. It was just beautiful looking over the river. And you know what we did? We knocked every door if they're selling the house. And you know what? We knocked, and finally somebody said, and it's, it was the last house, actually, that I, I just said, I'm too tired, I'm not going to. And my husband insisted. And we knocked the door, and happened to be uh, their, our friends, and they opened and said, yes, we are selling this house. And we happily live in this house. I enjoy that sunset and I enjoy that sunrise and sunset daily mountains in the river in the woods because it's up on the bluff or the cliff and we just overlooking it's absolutely gorgeous so we knocked we actually went and knocked the doors and said we were sorry but we're so and so and we're looking we love your neighborhood do, uh, do you uh, do you uh, by chance are you planning to sell uh, your house in the future we would love to buy it so uh, that's how we that's how we knocked, and you know what knocking, asking, seeking is kind of you're you're coming over uh, uh, overcoming overcoming your pride. That's why. And then here, therefore, whatever you therefore after that, and then he said, there's very very powerful things. And he said, when you ask your father, your God, you ask him how much more help he can give, because when when you ask from father, he, and you you say I. I'm asking, I am asking from you, you're, you're the only source of my blessings, Father. You're only the, you're my giver. You're a giver of my health. You're a giver of my joy. You're a giver of my peace. You are a giver of my blessings. And I come to you and, I, and I'm taking from you. And I know you're going to give me. I believe that, it, I believe that your loving Father and I come to my loving Father. How much more, how much more God will give good things to those who ask him who is that's a powerful things before you ask your doctor before you ask your boss before you ask your uh whoever do not before you do come to father and ask him and he will make your path smooth and he will give you peace that surpasses all understanding and he says therefore therefore after this a conclusion therefore whatever you want Man or people to do for you, to do to you, do also to them. So you, this is like I want to be. I want to be mm, like if you want. If you want to be respected, respect people. If you want to be loved, love people. If you want to be helped, help people. If you want to be prayed for, pray for people. If you want to be blessed bless people that's that's how it works so if you you this is how you want to uh walk on this earth just you first do to them this is how it is like this is this is a uh, some while ago the holy spirit was telling me jesus was telling me through the holy spirit that <clears throat> The more you bless, because you bless first, you bless, especially your enemies. Why will God says you uh, bless your enemies? Because the blessing will come around. It's like a boomerang. You will you throw it and come back right at you. So come back, and when he comes back at you, it's it's with with a speed, with certain speed, and can hit you really bad. So just uh, just uh, leave aside the slanderous uh, hatred, uh, gossip. Uh, irritation uh, or anything that involved with anything that evil just put aside just so they choose I'm choosing not to walk this 
I'm, I'm actually <laughs> preaching to myself. I said, I will tell myself, this is what I say, Lord, you're my wisdom, you're my understanding, you're my peace, you're my joy, you're my love. You're my agape love inside of me, that through you, through that agape love, I love people. And that's giving me strength to love them. Sometimes it's really hard to love those who just really harm you intentionally, especially uh, spitefully. But and then you choose to do the right things and it's, it's bringing you power. So again, it says in, every, in those things that when you choose to do, right, choose to do what you want, um, again, therefore, whatever you want man to do to you, do also to them, you, just, you do to them first, yeah? For this is the everything, the all scriptures, from the beginning, everything is the law and the prophecies. It's all about that, all about love, unconditionally. And this, there is power. So I uh, finish on this, and I didn't get to the narrow way, it will be my next uh, video. Narrow way is um, a very powerful passage too. So be blessed. May the Lord give you His uh, spirit of wisdom and revelation about Himself so that you will understand what is the real inheritance, who you, what you are the heir of all the richness and blessings of Himself and understanding who He is and grasping and living in this peace, living in this peace and joy and righteousness and His holiness and, and uh, all the blessings, all His shalom. Thank you. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen.